Oh my goodness, look at this. We've got a very rare Subaru Camper concoction specimen. Well, howdy doody guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Oh my god, he's that thing's still there. Some of you guys have not seen this thing. This thing is just a concoction nonsense that my buddy talked me into doing with her when she uh, died on me. So, we're getting blinded by the light. That big ball of fire ain't doing us too much justice. This thing has been sitting, not doing much, as you can tell. She's been just gathering uh, mouse poop. You can see over there, Little turds. But, Let's do a little work on her. We got a window that I want to put in that wall. And we got a little bit of insulation type stuff we could put up. And we got to figure out what the heck we're going to do for a freaking bed in here. Because the next time we fart around with this, even if it's even in the driveway, we're going to camp in it. So, yeah, I guess we'll uh, cut in a door. Hang on, let's get in here. Let me show you guys the old uh, nonsense factory for some of you guys who haven't seen this. I could clearly stand in her. It is not pretty. Yes. And these are old trampoline poles that I welded in. Got all fancy. <laughs> what? Come on. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Or maybe this is a little bit too crazy. What a wild nonsense idea. I took an old baby bed. Stuck it across the top there. My idea for a bed maybe. That we can do like a somewhat of a fold out style because I was going to do the bed up in here because the heat's going to rise and it stay really nice and toasty up in here but I don't know we're just winging it and uh this thing's <laughs> just been I don't know probably an eyesore for the neighbors but a wild dream for me so whatever anyway I think this is like I said I cannot throw away anything this is an old salvaged window from a job it has like built-in blinds and stuff in it yeah i think would go perfect up here oh it's too heavy i can't do it with one hand but yeah we're gonna stick it right in there so let's do that and then we'll just wing the rest of the day and see what we can make happen all right okay it's a rather cold day hopefully we don't smash our digits all right, watch out, puppy. Let me show them. Let me show the people. Some of you don't know. Ugh. We got some storage under here. Yeehaw. Not too shabby. And all this has been, like I said, leftover material, free material to build this thing. I mean, we're not going to dump a bunch of money into this nonsense. But we did not get the front half completely done yet under here this area that goes to the like the firewall into the engine bay we still got to kind of figure something out there but overall not too shabby I suppose all right let's figure out this freaking window all right we'll put this bad boy up in here like so I'm gonna set it down there so I can get out of the way and give you somewhat of a visual. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. I mean, it's not gonna be too shabby. At least we'll be able to look straight out. Kind of give us our windshield back. <laughs> and yes, you guys are gonna hear car noises and stuff. My apologies. I'm, I don't own an acreage or anything where we can escape those noises. But we make do with what we got. So, yeah. Alright, I'm going to pop a few screws out of here. Get ready to wing ding that thing. i got to get some gloves on. But uh, while I get all that ready, I'm going to run back all the footage that we have of how we got here. Um, it's been a wild nonsense adventure. Some of you guys have seen all that, all the OGs of the channel. But uh, for all you newcomers, you get a feel of uh, this <laughs> ridiculous build that uh, I've been holding on to for some time. So... Enjoy that, and we'll bring you guys back when we start cutting that thing in. Alrighty.
get us a heater going here. It is rather chilly. Ugh. This ain't gonna be the greatest, but whatever. I would use the Mr. Buddy heater, but I mean that costs money in butane. We got power, it's close by, so we might as well use electric. And we'll save the buddy heater for uh next out. Thanks again, Thomas Ellison, for that. You freaking rock star man. Alright. Shut the doors. We'll get this thing rocking. See if we can make heaven with it. Oh yeah, I gotta go plug the other end in first. Totally forgot that. <laughs> Alright. That bad boy fired up. All right. Little kids' toys and stuff in here. They love to play in this dang thing. Come on. Come up here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Get up here. Come on. Go. Go lay down. You lay down. Good job. There you go. <laughs> Perfect for the pup. If anything, this might be the just a glorified doghouse. Whatever. Also, last but not least, I want to show you guys this little thing. This thing is a weather band radio called the Iron Snow. And I'm pretty impressed with this little thing. It's going to be perfect for this once we get this all completely finished to keep this in here and keep it handy. Um, it has SOS on it. You could have a little alarm just in case like somebody comes trying to get into your little thing cause more attention to your area or something so that's pretty freaking neat and it's got crank and not the drug ah my finger oh might want to do it properly you got a crank radio I mean to get your battery going now it takes like two minutes and you get a full battery it tells you right on the dealy what your percentage is at you get your rig of tunes It's got an antenna. Whatever it may be. And then you get your weather band. That's going to be freaking cool. So at least you always have notice of that. It does have a little uh, solar panel up top. So you could solar charge as well. But that is a small channel or uh, solar charger screen not the greatest at these things but yeah but it also has a light on the bottom so that's a plus and it had one other freaking feature yeah you could charge your phone with it it has a 4,000 milliamp hour uh, USB charger but yeah I don't know I think it's a cool little thing I'll leave the link to this uh, in the description I mean, it's not bad for 30 bucks. All the other ones I've seen are like kind of fancy. It's like $70, $80. I mean, this one's multi purpose, got a bunch of different functions for 30 bucks, and you can crank it. I don't know if you can really beat that too much. And it's built really well. It doesn't feel cheap or nothing for the price. So there's that. Anyway, let's get back to our shenanigans, eh? There you are, the heater's doing the job. We'll take that. Bullet. Where's the level? We don't know. Who needs the level? You're probably straight she's gonna get her on these parts, eh? <laughs> Whee! Oh, I can't get past the thing. Go ahead. Huh? This uh be one crooked window. <laughs> cool beans, whatever. Yeah, a little bit chilly. Max is 60 from in the house. In the basement anyway. We don't like to suffer in there either. <laughs> Alright, I'm not too sure you're gonna like this puppy. Yeah. 
down here like this. And you're gonna go out. Good chill. Alright. Here we go. Let's get dangerous. You know what would go great? Some safety glasses. <laughs> Side and push it, buddy. Maybe. Maybe that's an option. But what if it wasn't? What if it wasn't an option? Holy crap. It's got us a window. We got a window. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> cool beans. We got still a screws from this though and tack these sides down. Slim pickings on the screws. Well, third time's the charm. Well, she ain't the straightest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. That's what makes it more beautiful, right? Once man trashes another man treasure. See what you can wing together. <laughs> oh man, we do need some flashing and stuff to go around the tops and sides. We're going to have to buck out the uh, uh, inside for something to screw the window too. So, not an easy task I guess. I thought it was going to be a lot simple, but simpler. Never know till you go, right? Well, this is the best thing I can come up with. We'll put some uh, wood on the sides. So if we ever do get it going mobile, bouncing around, it can't go up or down. And it'll be screwed to the plywood, of course, but the window's gonna be screwed to these. It can't go up and down because it's gonna hit the, uh, the framing. So, Theoretically, supposed to be in good shape. <laughs> I don't know. Wicked wild ideas. I mean, it had, whatever we put on the outside of this is going to help keep it in there too. This thing is not square at all. Even the window being a little tweaked, whatever, you know, it makes it unique, I guess. Some of you might say stupid, but whatever. <laughs> It'll be all right. Outside though, we're definitely gonna have to add some flashing to it. Something. My cut got kind of buggered up down here, but at least this coming down here will help uh, cover that up as well. We got here. 30 in the head. Should be a single key. Yes, sir. Well, she looks good from afar, but far from good. <laughs> We got this uh, dilly down here. Bada bing, bada boom. Not too shabby. Look at that junkyard of a mess. Yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we added a piece of flashing up there. I was sitting down here trying to grind this little space to put this one down there. That freaking grinder blade caught in there and absolutely shredded. 
and it punched me in the knuckle. Didn't do much. Now you see it, just a little bit, but uh, glad I still got fingers. You never know. That's, I swear that thing's one of the most dangerous tools. Anyway, just keeping it, keeping it real there. Glad we still got some digits. Boy. Well, we got the bottom one on, and we got all of our fingers. That's a plus. All I had was enough for top and bottom, of course. I don't know what the heck we're going to do on the sides just yet. Yes, it's a little tilted. <laughs> Whatever. But, hey, why not? One step closer to... I mean, this thing's a mess, but we need to get some brake metal and finish up the outsides on this. I mean, it looks like a turd right now, and it may be is a turd. Crazy wild idea, but, you know, it keeps your mind busy, keeps you going. It's better than sitting there on the couch being a, a bump on a pickle or something. So, whatever. Oof. Well, guys, that took longer than I thought it would. But, I mean, it's a small step, but at least it's a step forward in the right direction to shenanigans castle this is ridiculous but you know you're never gonna learn if you don't try and it's something to do to stay productive so that's always a plus you gotta keep the mind busy no no dilly dally nonsense production but yeah <laughs> anyway the next step we got to try to figure out what the heck we're gonna do for a bed my idea was to make like a double fold out style like bed to lay across here um either that or could maybe keep it simple i don't think a hammock would work because i could weld another bar across here and like do a hammock in here and keep it simple the hammock hut that wouldn't be too bad it'd be simple and less weight maybe we may have to do that turn this thing i don't know a freaking hammock hut <laughs> That'd be pretty wild. Maybe we should do that. Definitely late, uh, weight wise, because the wheels are on the complete back end of this. I didn't think, I didn't even put that all together. The Honda hates pulling this thing. So, but anyway guys, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Next video with this thing, I promise we'll probably camp in it one way or another and just sit back and have a good old time. And uh, we'll see what happens. This is a work in progress. And, uh, yeah, it's a mess, and there's a lot of work to be done. These things don't take, won't just pop up overnight. I mean, nobody would want to even pop this up overnight. Everybody's probably like, what the heck is he doing? <laughs> but, whatever. Anyway, some do, some new, some do. Why not? Well, it's not something new, is it? Something old, but it got something new to do. How about that? Anyway, guys, make every day great exploring Earth. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Bye-bye.